Welcome back to Blar. Quick review of Starlit Cart. So this game is free on the Xbox Live. Uh, it's a lot of fun for what it is. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's very simple kart racer, straight to the point. Uh, pretty forgiving as far as like hitting the power up boxes. I believe it has uh, local co-op, it has online, it has these online challenges. You have the cups, you see one to four players. Uh, has the pay to, not pay to win, but pay to get stuff kind of thing going on. It's how free games work these days, a lot of times. So you can set up a local game if you want. You have boss battles. Once you beat a, a set of races, you'll unlock a boss battle here. So I've done quite a few, as you can see. Got a couple more to go. So they're like a one-on-one -on -one race with the boss. It's pretty fun. So these are characters here, a couple ones I haven't gotten. Buna. So I've done Paco, Moo, some others. You have online challenges. And then you have all these cups. Parallel Peaks, Snow Mountains, Sunny Falls, Green Woods, Cog Castle, Mirage Desert, uh, Lava Chambers, a couple more down there. So I've, I've gotten to uh, Mirage Desert. I haven't unlocked it yet. You can see the coins up there. So I've played quite a bit. Got through all these here, which unlike the bosses that you saw. You can upgrade your car. See I've done it gets more expensive each time you upgrade of course you acceleration boost drift off-road your superpower So your superpower is very important in my opinion it can really win you the race because you can just hold on to your superpower and use it at the end to get that quick pass So uh, go ahead and upgrade a little bit while we're here and We'll get into a race so you can see how it looks uh, the sense of speed is on the slower side um doesn't really affect the fun factor too much it doesn't really rely on drifting like some games do um, so you don't have to like always drift around a corner controls are definitely pretty basic you uh, start out with the guy on the left I think the three on the left are unlocked and then they give you a free cart randomly I'm not sure if it's monthly or weekly or however that works uh, you can upgrade your cart when you unlock stuff uh, appearance wise so you get different paint jobs, hats, exhaust. So it's pretty cool. Like I said you unlock these just by playing the game. These are all free to unlock. I guess this is the adventure cart. It's the one, the only one I've really used. Uh, I like the uh, lightning exhaust at the bottom here. Jump into a game. Uh, if you didn't buy the game, this one's locked. 600 CC. I uh, have seen it go free to play before, like a, you know, like a promotion, so you can't play it. Uh, you just play on 300, that's fine. You get 1.5 times the rewards. Here's your setup. Pretty basic stuff. Accelerate, drift. Of course, you want to be in the star on your speedometer to get the initial boost. There we got it. That's good. So that sense of speed is good, and you hit these stars, continue. Uh, a boost speed tracks pretty fun graphics are nice correct these jewels to upgrade your car it's the money of course the question mark boxes are your power-ups uh, that X there we see that boomerang that's his power so you can throw that boomerang anytime uh, that's lit up it does have a cooldown of course as you can see it's very handy we'll grab a key will be a treasure chest uh, usually one per track. Races are three laps. We don't overstay their welcome. They're, they're quick. They're fun enough, I think. So I did like playing this. So it's free. It's worth a try if you like kart racers. See, it's pretty forgiving about hitting those boxes. So you're gonna get all those power ups. You'll get two each each box you hit. So a lot of boost. That's in, like an invincible boost there. You have a regular boost. You have stuff you can fire. Turn them into like a lantern. We have to like, um, you know, wiggle the control pad to, to break out of it. Tornado just got hit by. So, already on the final lap here. So, like I said, races are pretty quick. Um, the AI will keep up with you and they will, you know, of course, do car racer like things. Hit you with power ups in the most inopportune times, stuff like that. So, Get these jumps. You can hit the drift button, you'll give you that little bounce. 
So we get higher on those jumps. Go finish this race up. We're gonna come in first. Yep. Again, it'll be four races, and it'll unlock the boss, and you'll get coins to upgrade your car. You can buy stuff. I don't know why you would. That seems kind of pointless to me to buy anything in this game. <laughs> Those parallel peaks. Track one. There's Paco. So it's like a dirt track. You can upgrade your off road tires. And that's really it. That's Startup Racer. It's free to play. I highly recommend it if you like kart racers or just want a casual racing game to have a little bit of fun with. So I would give it like, out of 10, I'd probably give it a, a 7.5. It gets, it does everything a kart racer does very well. So thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.